Agriculture in the Classroom is actually a national program that was started by the USDA, the United States Department of Agriculture, back in the early 1980s. Um, there are currently Ag in the Classroom programs in all 50 states and in all U.S. territories. And though we may all have a little bit different mission statement in our states, I guess our purpose is overall the same in that we want to educate primarily the youth and the teachers about the wonderful industry of agriculture. Agriculture is a business, an industry that gets overlooked so often or taken for granted. Um, and at one time, the schools and all of your testing in, in the schools revolved around agriculture. I mean, the school calendar was set around agriculture at one time. And, and we know that we have evolved and we have become a much more urban society. And so we've moved away from our agrarian roots. And so with that, people have lost that contact with their source of food and fiber. And people are three to four generations removed from the farm. So that's an issue that ag agriculture in the classroom tries to address. We actually have materials that cover anything from pre-K all the way up to 12th grade. I will say in Louisiana though, the bulk of my material is primarily pre-K to eighth grade. I can do some high school things as well. And one thing that's important, we know teachers today um, are under so much pressure to perform and to meet these state standards and the high stakes testing. So we know that teachers cannot take time out of their day to teach agriculture. We know they're not gonna give us 20 or 30 minutes for that, even though we feel that's very important. So the way we approach it is we develop um, with teachers around the state, we develop English lessons, math lessons, science lessons, social studies lessons that use agriculture to teach those grade level expectations. Those are those standards, those objectives that the state says you have to cover at each grade level and each subject. And the teachers have to document that they've done that. Um, and that helps them prepare the students for the testing, the LEAP testing and the I-LEAP and the GEE. And so that's very important to us that every bit of material that we provide to teachers has those correlations there. So it's easy for the teacher to document, I did this lesson and it covered um, this math GLE number 21 you know, for whatever grade level. That means something to a teacher. That is that specific task that they have to cover, whether it's, um, you know, two number addition or two, you know, number division. It's that specific task that the teacher has to be sure the student has mastery of. Louisiana Farm Bureau coordinates the program here in our state, our Ag in the Classroom program. Um, and so we rely very heavily on our grassroots membership. That's how Farm Bureau is. Uh, so I have volunteers. I'm fortunate that I have a network of volunteers around the state. Uh, they put me in contact with schools or school systems. And at the same time, teachers contact us. Uh, we have, since I'm a staff of one, okay, it's kind of a lot of ground to cover all the way across the state. So I do rely on my volunteers and we have, because I'm a staff of one, we know that I can't get into every school and reach every student. So we try to focus on reaching the teachers. So we have, we host workshops around the state, three to four hour workshops. We can customize that to whatever a school or school system needs, but primarily they're three to four hours. We go out and do a blitz in September and October, our fall workshops we call them, and I'll just travel the state. I'll load up the van and travel the state and do 20, 25 workshops in that time period in different, our, our parish farm bureaus will typically host the workshop. So they'll find me the location. Sometimes it's a school, sometimes it's a farm bureau office. Um, they're completely free to teachers, everything we do. We feed them a meal, um, provide them material, a binder full of lesson plans, CD, video, all kinds of wonderful resources that they can use. The easiest way to find things that we have to offer is visiting our website, and that is www.aitcla.org. Because of all our material is free, um, what we try to do is just put everything in a PDF format, all of our lesson plans, worksheets, activity instructions, just on there where teachers can download absolutely free.